Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Let's talk about the following season two with probably major spoilers. Um, just like to throw out there, just to be safe. I have seen the first half of the season before. As I mentioned in the um, the following season one review, I've seen season one before and I watched half of season two um, and made the mistake of pausing. <laughs> like, I stopped halfway through. The shadow on my face is really annoying me, so we're going to face it this way. Um... Like, stopping halfway through the season thinking, I'm just going to give it a couple of weeks break. Um, and then, like, go from there. And those couple of weeks turned into a couple of years. I never went back to it for some reason. Because um, every, t I suppose it was because every time I wanted to go back to it, I was like, I'm going to have to re-watch the episodes I've missed. Um, the, the episodes I've seen already, just to see what I've, what I've missed. Um, so the first half of this season was sort of on in the background because I remembered quite a lot of it, a lot more than I realised I was going to remember. Um, I like the fact that the season broke down exactly how the um, how how Joe Carroll escaped from his fate. Um, I thought that was really well done in the end because I expected them to just completely gloss over it, um, but they they actually put some thought into it. Um, I didn't know how they were going to build up a season three, and sort of, I feel like they hadn't planned a season three till the end of this season. Um, like, right at the end, we sort of get a, this is how season three is going to go, and I was like, okay, uh, I hope it's as good as the first two. Um, the first season's always going to be the best season, I think, for me. Uh, before I've even watched season three, I, I purposely try and review these straight after watching them without watching the next season, so it gives me sort of something to look forward to, something to sort of embarrass myself with, I suppose. I can talk about things now and then get it wrong later. Um, but I feel like season one's going to always be my favourite season. Like, re-watching it was, uh, was a load of fun. I really enjoyed re-watching it. Um, this season, I'm not saying it was, any, uh, it was bad, it just wasn't as good as the first season. Um, one thing I did, well... I'm going to keep saying one thing I really enjoyed about this, so you're going to realise that there are a few things I liked about this. Um, one thing I really enjoyed about this season was um, the whole Joe Carroll breakdown sort of thing. Um, we've seen him as a cult leader. We've seen him really, like, meticulously, this is how I'm going to do everything I want to do. Um, and in this season, he didn't have that. He had to sort of just improvise and go with it and go with the flow. And we saw how he got to the point he got to in season one, in a way. We got to see how he manipulates people, how he actually gets them to be on his side. We see him take over a full cult, like a, a completely different cult that have their own morals, their own like way of doing things. And we see him completely take over and it was really cool to see. Like... <laughs> I suppose you sort of there's always an element of like oh we just have to believe you because it's a TV show, <laughs> um, but like when 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 they did when I watched season one I was like okay everyone's just a fan of his they've been fans of his for years and they have formed a group okay um, is he actually as good as they are making out him making him out to be yes he is we see it ourselves um, and I found that really interesting to watch. How, how he sort of did it. And this is this is like very different from season one. His character is very different from season one. Season one, I find him very um, calculated. He knows what he wants to do and when he wants to do it. Whereas in this one, he's sort of sporadic and a bit bit more... more uh, I want to say moronic, but it's not that word I'm looking for. A bit more um, unpredictable, I suppose. He seems to just be like, okay, we're going to do this now and hopefully that will get people's attention. Uh, let's do this now and hope that gets people's attention. Um, he's just sort of cra glass, grasping, grasping, grasping at straws um, to sort of get what he wants from the whole thing. The whole, uh, I stopped, the first time I watched this, and I found that out re-watching it, the first time I watched this, I stopped at season, uh, season? Uh, episode 7 or 8, I believe. Um, I, can, I can tell you exactly when it happened, if you've ever seen the show. Uh, Claire Matthews is still alive and that's when I stopped watching. It was the episode before we see Claire Matthews. Um, and if I'd seen her, I'd have been like, oh, okay. And I'd have carried on watching more than likely. Because um, I wanted to know exactly what happened. And then they sort of break that down. They show you how that happened. And that was cool to see. Um, I get... <laughs> this, this is why I feel like they tacked on an ending to make a season three. 
the ending of this made sense. The ending of this this uh, season. Assuming Joe Carroll is not going to be in season three. Um, that's an assumption I've made. He probably will be, because that's the following. It's him and um, Ryan Hardy. Um, like... Claire and Claire basically tells Ryan, "We're not. This is not happening anymore. We're we're breaking up. I'm never going to see you again. We need to live our own lives. We need to go in separate directions." And I was like, "Okay, that's an interesting decision for you to have made." Um, it sort of closes that chapter, closes that book completely. Like you wanted to see how they do, and it didn't go well. Um, because now we've got season two with Joe Carroll. So they completely, she completely breaks it off, and she's never going to see him again. Okay, cool. Uh, Ryan arrests Joe instead of shooting him because he can see the effect it's having on everyone else around him that he's grown to care about. Um. So instead of like shooting him, which is the way you th- you assumed it was going to end, the the typical way it was going to end, he saw how. The way he had been acting and the, his influence had taken over other people. So he was like, okay, let's. Uh, he took a step back, he took a deep breath, and he arrested Joe Carroll instead. And I think that was good. I think that's exactly what needed to be done. Um, I'm sort of glad he didn't, he didn't go out in a blaze of glory in this season. He could be back in season three and he goes out in a blaze of glory there instead. Um, but that, that made sense. And that sort of put everything in a nutshell there as well. Um side love side like relationships love lives and stuff all came together that was sort of capped off as well um the only thing that wasn't was the twins and the twins were a really cool thing in this show i loved their the way they acted the what they'd say and how they acted and all of that stuff i loved it i loved their um crazed family obsession that they had where they'd kill people and keep them like around like as if they were not dead and talk to them as if they weren't dead i love that and i don't know why but i did and i thought it was a really cool little thing i suppose um for the for the season two we've been doing uh, i liked the two cults against each other as well i thought that was interesting um like both sort of playing to each other like you think you're good well i'm better than you and then vice versa for the other side um them saving one brother and him getting away and being and someone helping him, so it's clearly happening for a season three that this person is going to be uh, the antagonist. I was just like, okay, this sort of came out of nowhere. Everyone has sort of got like a re- a resolution to their story, and now this. <laughs> um, okay, um, so I am intrigued by season three to see what happens in it. The one thing I'm gonna miss completely from season three is Emma. Emma is one of my what was one of my favorite characters. I loved her in this show. I thought she was brilliant. I thought she played the role brilliantly, and I thought she was a great character. And now she's gone. So I am intrigued by season three. Season two was good, just not as good as season one. Let's see where they go with season three. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again in the next one.